So a few weeks ago, I came across this clip. First time I saw something like that, my mind was absolutely blown. These videos were made by Johnny FPV, and he is a professional FPV drone pilot. That was the first time I'd heard that was a thing. I was like, what is a FPV drone pilot? So I looked it up on YouTube. I found all these other videos of these guys is just basically putting themselves virtually into a cockpit of a quadcopter and just flying at these super high speeds, doing these crazy maneuvers, flips, and tricks. And it was absolutely insane. I'd seen these camera movements somewhere before, not in real life, but in anime. It was in anime and they've made it real life. They make these shots real. Once that possibility was shown to me, I absolutely had to know, how do I do this? So I started researching online, how to FPV. Mr. Steel, Joshua Bardwell popped up and their videos helped immensely. They gave a lot of instruction and I'm super grateful that their videos were up online. Started doing my research, found out first by a controller, second by a simulator, third practice on the simulator. While you're getting used to flying, you have to learn how to build the drone. This is where I got kind of lost. Learning to fly a drone isn't easy, but at least you can keep practicing and you'll get better. Finding the parts and learning how to build the drone, including learning how to solder, all these other things to make sure you have all the right components to make sure the drone flies and also to make sure you don't blow your drone up like Sawyer Hartman did. That was where I was starting to get a little bit sketched out. So at this point, I figured the best way to approach this would be to find someone who already knew how to do this and contact them. I looked online, looked for drone shops, looked for drone groups, looked for people. I was lucky and I finally came across one person in a Facebook group called San Diego Drones and I found Adriel. He was nice enough to meet up and start to give me the rundown on how to choose which parts to buy, which parts go with which parts, which parts don't go with other parts so you don't blow up your drone. And that was super helpful. On top of that, he invited me to a day out with his FPV group. And this was probably the most helpful thing that could have happened. So even though I'd been researching and practicing FPV on my own, what really felt like the true first step into this whole new world was when I finally got to meet up with these guys and I got to see these quads in action in the real world with my own two eyes for the first time. And let me tell you, it was nuts. Absolutely nuts. And let me just show you some of this footage. Like, just take a look at this. It really did feel like an anime. I don't know if any of you have watched Gundam, but I love that show. I always wanted to be a Gundam pilot and getting to sit in the cockpit of your own mecha and fly and just take to the skies and transmit your consciousness. Imagine that, just being able to just fly as a kid or a 17 year old or however old you are, you can build your second self from the ground up and then take to the skies and be free. This world is such an amazing and fulfilling hobby and I'm learning right now, I'm trying my best. And trust me, I don't feel qualified to make a whole video on FPV yet because I've only been in this a hobby for a few months but yeah i just really wanted to capture this perspective i have right now of a fresh regular person who is just taking the first toe dip into fpv and i wanted to document this moment so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will be continuing to go down this path because i already spent a lot of money on it let me know if you guys like it leave a comment down below of what you think what you'd want to see more of uh fpv content breaking content maybe both combined that's the goal right so please subscribe hit the bell so you're notified for the next video and i will see you guys next week take care peace <laughs> oh it's gone, it's gone.